The populations of the French Caribbean, departments of Martinique and Guadeloupe are suffering from pesticide poisoning. A pesticide linked to cancer, chlordicone, was used throughout the islands of Martinique and Guadeloupe for about two decades. Twenty-plus years on and more than 300 tons of chlordicone dispersed, adult populations in the two territories have been found to have traces of the chemical in their blood. Banana planters had been using chlordicone to eradicate root borers, weevils that attack banana plants, since 1972, when French Agriculture Minister Jacques Chirac, who later became president, authorized it as a pesticide, despite it being recognized as hazardous in that same year. It was banned in the U.S. in 1975 after several hundred workers were contaminated at a factory in Hopewell, Virginia, listing symptoms such as nervous tremors, slurred speech, short-term memory loss, and low sperm counts. It was eventually banned in the French Antilles in 1993 after lobbying pressure from banana growers. The land and local waterways were tested and the findings indicated that significant tracts of soil as well as rivers and coastal waters are contaminated with the endocrine disruptor. Although drinking water is considered safe, as carbon filters are used to remove contaminants, authorities continue their goal of keeping the chemical out of the food chain. Their mission is made more difficult as small-scale farmers and vendors still aim to make a living selling their produce on the country's roadsides. The situation has attracted the concern of French President Emmanuel Macron, who has called it an environmental scandal and said the state must take responsibility. So far, this has been in the form of an official visit to Martinique in 2018, where he was briefed about the pollution problem. And in 2019, the French parliament is holding a public inquiry, which will report its findings in December. Russell Lord for the HDS News Force.